Alright, so here's my story and I'm sticking to it. Alright, so I was I was sitting in the gazebo over here and all of a sudden I saw a little finch over here at my birdhouse. And he wanted to get in, but he was bouncing all over the place, right? So I was like, what's going on? So I'm sitting over there and I look over here and all of a sudden the black shelf starts moving. And I'm like, okay, what's going on over here? I go over here and there's a black snake climbing up on the, the pole here trying to get in. So I find this green rod to, uh, to get him off of the shelf, right? So he's strong. Let me tell you what, he, was he got a hold of that and he was not going to let go. So anyway, so he got loose, got over here. Went under the air conditioner and I had to wrestle him out. So then I started poking at him with the stick. Started running across here and went across here and so then I got him. So after I got him, I had him by the tail and I put him in the bucket. See the bucket? And then I found this and I put it on there. And he was he was inside. I'm telling you he was inside. But I didn't want to let him go. I didn't want to kill him because we have animals around here and there are kids in the neighborhood. So, I called animal control. <laughs> I was like, hey, I've got a black snake. What am I going to do with him? He said, bring him. So I was like, okay. So I get my basket and my bucket. And, my, and then I put him in the car. So I closed the door. Now it's like 20 minutes to the reptile center and he said that hey, they would take them. So here I am, I'm driving along and I'm looking down at the box making sure there ain't no snake coming out of the box. Ain't no snake coming out of the box. Oh, I saw a head poking out. I need to I'll wiggle it back. Maybe he can go back down in the box. I'm going to sit there looking at it. Okay. Okay, so now I get to the reptile store and I get the thing out and I hand it to the guy and he look he gets it out and he looks at it and he's like and I was like don't tell me that there's no snake in the container <laughs> he's like no there's no snake it's like he's pretty good size so he sends his son out and we open up all the doors on the van and we're looking through everything and all of the mess and under seats trying to find a snake but there's no snake then all of a sudden, it dawns on me that the snake is probably underneath my dashboard. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. So he says, why don't you drive back home and leave your doors open when you get home? And then maybe he'll come out at night. And I'm thinking, oh, that's great. That's the last thing I want to do is drive down the highway and have a snake in my car coming out. But what toys do I have? Am I going to reach up in there and get him out? I don't think so. So, here I am. I am driving back from the pet store, right? It's like, please don't let him come out. Lord, please don't let him come out from under the dashboard on my feet. Please don't let him come out. So, all of a sudden, I look over and I see this little head. He was cute. Okay, I'm not even going to lie. He was cute. But, all right. So, I look over here and in the corner, right about there, little head starts peeking out. I'm thinking, oh, great. What am I going to do? Okay, I look and down the highway. So, down the highway, here I am. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I look over on the... So I reach over and I open the door and he crawls out. So that was my experience for Saturday. I hope yours was uh, better than that. <laughs> Bye. So he is happily somewhere between um, exit four and five on business 40 but he's not here 
and he's still alive because I it didn't it didn't go out on the highway so I'm happy for that so that was a two-hour fiasco for a snake for real right all right bye